Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to look at what a confidence interval results in after it's been calculated, meaning where are things? So in the last video, we found a confidence interval that ranged from 3.08 oopsie-daisies to 3.24. So that's the interval here, 3.24. 3.08. This is our lower and upper bound. So then in that calculation, in the exact center is always going to be your sample estimate. And we also call it a point estimate. And that's true because when you calculate your confidence interval, you are adding and subtracting to that point estimate. You remember that's our formula. So we have our point estimate and we add and subtract the margin of error. And because the margin of error is the same every time, that means it's going to be in the middle. The point estimate will be exactly in the middle. That means you add a margin of error to get up to your upper bound and you subtract a margin of error to get to your lower bound. Okay, so when we did this calculation, even if I didn't have uh, this uh, result, even if I didn't start from the beginning, I know that 3.16 is going to be in the exact center, so that's my mean. So what I mean is, if I had the upper bound and lower bound, I could figure out the mean because I know it's exactly in the center. The other thing is, because the whole width of this interval, if you do 3.24 minus 3.08, we know that the width is 0.16. And because there's one, two, I know that 0 0.08 is the margin of error because if I divide this by two, I would get that 0 0.08, which is my margin of error. And I know that because this, this is one and this is two. If I have a whole width, there's two margins of error in it. So I can take the width and divide by two. So it's similar to what we did when we were doing um, a confidence interval for one population proportion, but I wanted to see I wanted you to see that here. Ha oh, look at that! I could have written right on that paper electronically. All right, see you in future videos.